It's four miles to Mount Warner. We got a full battery, half an SD card. It's pouring and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. How we doing? <laughs> After arriving at Mount Warner, we met with Josh Knox, who would show us what invasive species to look for and pull. He works for the trustees and has been coordinating the cleanup of this property for a few years now, promoting sustainability in a healthy ecosystem through volunteering. We would learn just how much our work would influence Mount Warner. So now that we're all outfitted and got all our rain gear on and rain boots, so we're here in this parking lot. We're gonna be working in this zone right in here. We're basically gonna be combing the area for invasive plants. It's gonna be pretty exciting today because of the, the rain. It's an area where the, your colleagues from last year did some work pulling invasives. Great, so we'll walk this way. Look for anything that looks like it doesn't belong. Like this is a honeysuckle. So as we go, this is one of the guys we're going to be pulling. And this is called the uh, European bittersweet. See how the root is orange? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's key. This is the time when color is actually a key character. As an example of the invasive plant that we're trying to pull out. How much of an effect will this really have come summer? You can imagine all this with uh, leaves on it. And not only that, these vines tend to grow up the trees and plants and really smother them or actually constrict them. This is dead, this is dried out, you can hear it snap, but it's, our, it's still doing damage because it's actually in, embedded into the tree. You can see here it's causing the tree to swell. This is the physical damage that the bittersweet does. Yes! <laughs> Ask me how I'm doing. How you doing? Never better. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is one of the several piles of the invasive plants we unrooted. The rain actually made it easier to pull out of the soil. All right, we are packed up and ready to go home. So are you at all environmental? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not, not. And the thing just broke. Oh. By the end of day two, we started to make our way up the stream. We passed over the area that our counterparts last year had worked on and we found very few invasives in those areas. It was here that we saw the lasting impact that volunteering and invasive control has on our local environment. You saw this joke coming. <laughs> 